Uh, my new harp arrived yesterday. Um, it's a cross-strung harp. And that means it's got two rows of strings. Normal harp just has one row of strings. A normal harp, almost all normal regular harps have the same notes as the white keys on a keyboard. And if you want to play the black notes, the black keys, the sharps and flats, Either you've got to have a pedal harp where you're kicking these pedals with your feet or you've got a harp with little levers up at the top over here at the, uh, at the pegs and you have to lift them by, by hand, which means you have to remove your hand for half a second or a second or two seconds from the, playing the strings to lift the damn lever. And even so, like even if you have a concert pedal harp with seven pedals and you're working them with your feet, you still only got seven strings per octave, seven notes per octave. So uh, you try to play sharps and flats and that removes a couple other notes from what you're able to play at, that, at the same time. This harp has all 12 notes of the octave, all the seven white notes and the five black notes. And just like on a piano, then the black notes are on a separate row from the white notes. It sounds a little confusing, but when you look at it, it's actually a pretty ingenious system here. And I will show it to you. All right, now let's take a look at it from this side. Uh, you've got uh, the right on this side here, you've got the regular seven white notes of the key of C and on the left side here you've got the other the black notes and what's what's uh, really in, ingenious about it is that uh, the way it, they cross they sort of intersect around the middle of the harp here um, it means that to play the regular notes your left hand has to, from the up until the middle to the lower half, your left hand has the regular seven notes, the key of C. But to play those same strings with the right hand, you're playing from the middle to the top. Wow. See, because it it's uh, they intersect as a diagonal, so the same notes are on the top on the right side, and they're on the bottom on the left side. But what really makes sense about that is that the normal hand positions on a harp has the left hand just a little bit tends to be lower, like this, and your right hand is in a higher position like this. That's the normal position of the arms and the elbows and the hands. So this is a very, it works out very a lot simpler than it, it, it seems at first. To have your right hand, if you're playing with say the key of C, your right hand is a little bit higher and that's natural, that's a natural position and the left hand is a natural position being lower on the, in the strings. And then you've got the other, a whole new learning experience of how do you deal with the, the other notes. <laughs> All the black notes. You you have to. This is the this is the the, uh, the tricky part is to learn now that when you want to play sharps and flats, you now you don't have to go up here and move these stupid levers that I used to have a harp. I think they've improved now, but the levers I used to have were pretty sharp. It was pretty cheap, and they used to actually cut into the strings. And most of the time, the strings would break after a certain number of times of moving the levers because the levers themselves would cut the strings and that was a lousy system. I hated it, you know, it's really not fun to have, for one thing, to have strings breaking in your face. <laughs> and it, it would, it would cut into the strings until finally they would get too thin and they'd snap. This, you don't have any of that. Whatever you're doing with the strings, so you don't have to be kicking your legs on pedals. Whatever you're doing with the strings, you have to learn to do it between 
um, this set of strings and this set of strings, but you don't have to stop playing to go up and change the notes up here. You just have to learn, get accustomed to uh, where the notes are and how to shift your hand. So your left hand, you have to learn the sharps and flats moving to this set of strings that's above the middle and the opposite for the right hand to play the sharps and flats you have to learn how to go down below the middle and play the sharps and flats but that's what uh that's the learning experience that's what practice will requires require will require practice to get accustomed to it but i don't think it'll be that difficult i mean it's not that different from learning the keyboard and learning now, okay, you want to play sharps and flats, you have to learn how to shift your hand up to the black keys and then back again. It's that sort of a thing. It's not quite as simple as that, but it seems to me simpler than the system where you have, you hear you've got 12 notes per octave instead of seven notes per octave. And the range of this little harp is three octaves, uh, which might seem not enough to some people, but as a learning instrument, it's plenty. Three octaves is, is as much range as any guitar has. Just about any guitar has no more notes than this. And on a guitar, the most notes you can play at one time is six notes. And with this thing, you can play, you know, if you use your pinky, you could you play ten notes at once. So, I like it so far. And then, <laughs> just for the, for the um, because it's, it's smaller, just to have it as a stand, I put it on this, this um, step stool here that I found in the trash about six months ago. And this is oddly amusing. Here's the tuning hammer here. That's the tuning key. Uh, what I find oddly amusing is that the, this is a plastic, uh, upholstery on this on this step stool see nice uh, just have it as a stool and you need to climb up and step on it you move the steps and go up and the upholstery on this chair it's fake wood coloring and what's uh, amusing to me even compare it to the coloring of this tuning tuning key <laughs> I don't know, this is just oddly amusing that the coloration of this plastic fake fake wood color is very much similar. And let's see how light it is that I can pick it up with my left hand while I'm holding the camera. Um, <laughs> the coloration of the actual wood of this harp is very similar to the coloration of the fake wood color of this plastic step stool upholstery, then that's just pure coincidence. Perhaps, maybe God wanted it that way. <laughs> but I find that oddly amusing. I mean, I just, just, I just found, you know, I actually, first I tried putting it on this stool that was about a little too high. So it was too high for me, and this was the right height, and it's the exact same color. And let me move it up a little bit, move them up a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's, that's, uh, the introduction. This thing arrived by UPS, actually arrived in three days, and it was supposed to be seven to 14 days, but I think they rushed it because four weeks ago they couldn't process the order because my stupid bank card had a different address on it. They hadn't updated my address, and now they did. So that was nice of them to send it in three days, and it came, it was, of course, I don't know if it was great having it shipped yesterday when it was 90 degrees, it was really, it was, the wood was warm when it arrived, and that was at seven, seven in the evening, the wood was warm, it been in that truck all day, and they ship it, when they ship it, the, the strings are, um, they, they detune them so that there's not tension on it, so had less chance of damage so I had to tune them all up from the beginning and go a little gradual I didn't want to tune it all up uh, I tuned it about a half step flat just to, just to be safe and I had to tune it three or four times because they string stretch and they go flat quickly the first time today they're starting to hold their pitch 
So, uh, like I said, here's the regular keys. Key of C. And the black notes. La-dee-da-dee-da. -dee -da -dee -da.